Hey guys, welcome back. Legion here with you again, like always, back for episode two of the DNS Tech Pack. So between the episodes, I have just been kind of meddling around here. Got a, quite a few patterns set up, so we can kind of just jam through this another episode, trying to get through some of this. Been doing a good, fair amount of mining down there. One thing I did realize, I saw it in the um, notes, but I forgot to use it. But this does have tree capitator. So that kind of makes it nice to pop down some of these trees pretty quickly. There's a spider up there. But it does not work on the modded woods. It doesn't work on the... Wait a minute, that's not modded. Why doesn't it work on that? Works on that. I don't know. Makes it quick to gather up some wood. And it actually works on the um, MFR trees, too. All of a sudden, I got a bunch of saplings. Alright, so today, what we are going to work on is a couple projects. And we'll clear out some of this. Oof. You know, I've been already thinking about my plans for a sorting system. So, I did make a bunch of coke oven bricks. Um, transfer nodes. Make a liquid transfer node. Mm, drum. Let's grab a stack of coal. So, I'm going to think my beginner power or one of my beginning powers is going to be a immersive engineer water wheel. So let's put this somewhere. I need to get a hammer too. Sorry, gotta go, buddy. Get this finished being made, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So a quick little trip. I'm gonna go grab the engineer's hammer. Stick that on there, so that way we can keep it running. Um, what did I need? Bottles. So I'm making cursed oil, so that way I can use that to make a water wheel. I think that might be our kind of our renewable low tier power. Alright, so that's running. Slow as hell. Okay. Um Alright, let's get rid of that. So the next thing I do want to make is I want to go to the nether and I want to make a new hammer. I will make a tinker's contract hammer. So I got a couple things laid out. So I have a basic machine frame, a um, couple capacitors. I think it was only supposed to be five, but that's okay. Two of those. Let's see where I set this up at. Okay, so that's a capacitor. All right. Sag mill. And I think I set up the induction or the uh, smelter. Alley smelter. Okay. Um. So we need four, eleven, eleven pieces of iron. And some cobble. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. 
So now we got a sag mill and a alloy smelter, so we can do a little bit of ore processing. Let's move that. So you are going to go here, here. Is that how I'm not doing this? I had this laid out in my head. Okay. Yeah, this is how we're doing it. Okay, cool. Alright. So a capacitor. So just a basic capacitor. You're going here. Nope. You're going here. Yep, yep, that's that's right. That's right. Okay, and I want a ooh. Induction. That's just a bunch of invar. So I think I gotta cook some invar up. So that's four, eight, ten invar. Yep, I gotta make up some of that. Let's put this. Put that there. I guess we can make it in the smelter. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need three ferrous. Well, we should just do it like that. So toss those in there. That should be the correct ratio. Huh, so it's not filling up the bottles first. Well, let's just pop this off for now. Cool. I'll come and fix that up later. So I'll put that there. So the invar is coming. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get multiple things done. All right. Next thing is. Let's stone. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and make more of that. I did change this out to all being single ingots. Um, just to make that happen. All right, so let's stone. So we're gonna need some glass, six pieces of redstone, and some lead. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Glass. Getting late, I can't math. It is almost mid it is midnight. Alright. So we'll wait for that. Go ahead and sleep. And then I'll I can all get the few the rest of the pieces and parts made up for this. And then we'll come back and kind of complete the build. So I'll be back in just a second. Alright, here we are. So induction smelter. So I've got a nice little configuration basically. So the furniture generator will put power into the basic capacitor. The basic capacitor will feed out to our my little machine array, and I also can use this as a charging port to get a jet pack. So let's get um, coal coke. Coal coke? Coal coke. I knew I had some. So we'll go ahead and toss that in there. And start filling up the internal buffer here. Which should be uh, charging up all the machines, spreading them out. Cool. All right. So next, you actually produce that coal coke. Okay. Nice. That's fine. 
we'll go ahead and do that like that. And then once I get the water wheel coming, I'll just come pipe into here to start bringing in more power. More power. So I want to start making dark steel. I want to make a different type a of um, what do you call it? Hammer? Man, it's getting late. I gotta go to bed. So how much are we gonna need? Eight, maybe? I think eight. Toss that in a sag mill. Turn that into coal powder. Probably gonna have to go down there and get some obsidian. Or I'll just probably just condense it. I'm okay with condensing vanilla items. Sixty four. That work. Okay. So eight of you. Eight of you. and then eight of you. So that should give us eight dark steel ingots and that will make a maybe a dark, think about using a dark steel actually hammerhead. It's not something I've used before because it's part of extra tick and some mods packs don't include extra tick. So that's running. That should be good. I can make regular steel here, so I don't need to put up a a coke oven per se. Because I can believe I can just do like what four charcoal and a piece of iron. No, maybe not. Oh, I'm not looking through all those recipes. Electrical steel. Arc furnace. Blast furnace. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Nope. Maybe it's re refined. Coal powder. Okay, gotcha. It's got to be some kind of coal powder and iron. Got it. Okay, well, I mean, no biggie. Oh no. Do not like. Hopefully, I get to sleep it away. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll cut the recording. Okay. So we're good here. Good here. You're still working, but you're going to take a little while. So I guess one thing I'm going to work on is I'm going to finish getting all the pieces and parts together. Oh. I guess we don't have what mod was that? All right, let me do a cut. Let me figure out what's going on, going on. See if I can sleep away. Okay, good deal. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. And through some magic magic of editing, I went ahead and dropped in simply jetpacks into the mod pack because that's what I wanted. Um, I think you go here, yeah, and maybe you here, or you here-ish, you there maybe? 
Yes. All right. So we now we have a leadstone jetpack. Not great, but it's workable. So we just need to go up. We need to go invar. Mm. That's not horrible. I need to make some more bronze up. I don't have much bronze. Stick you in there. Let you charge up. Now onward to our hammer. So I took all that dark steel, I threw it in the smeltery, it's already melted down. So we're going to finish making all the pieces and parts for the rest of it. I did make a crescent hammer because I went and got some lava, because I had to get some more lava to melt down the dark steel. So this one had made a uh, portable tank it took with me. So over here we go. So I'm going to have a paper binding, or a paper large plate. A sapphire large plate and I'm going to need okay that I had cooking up you there and I can get rid of these two now and I need a hammerhead to cast over oh I need to get some do I have any aluminum brass some gold. That old dude up there. Toss that in. And we will cast over this. There's something else down. We get eight molten dark steel. So we'll turn that into a hammer head. And then we should have a decent hammer. So it's been a pretty productive episode, I would say. Got coal coke running. Watch. And now I have 12 bottles of that, so we actually can get a water meal going probably. Oh, damn, does it need two? It might need two. Um, got that going so we can actually start making yeah, I grabbed it. So we'll put those there. We can start making um, treated wood planks. So that wouldn't be bad. Good for passive power. I'll sleep real quick. You can see where I restarted. Just pouring that over. You can use gold as a substitute for aluminum brass. Oh no. Are you not going to do that? Oh, maybe it's going to make me. Huh. Okay. Well, that's strange. I figured it would make me cast it. Maybe not. Let's go find out. Nope, guess not. Guess you don't have to cast that. Learn something new every day. Alright. So, that would be my hammer. Doesn't have a great mining speed, but without cobalt and ardite, it's not horrible. Bonus attack versus undead. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and put
fifty. Okay, speed that up a little bit. Mining speed four sixty six. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Use up two modifiers. So there's still two modifiers remaining without any additional modifiers. And you are now 746. 746. We'll see how good you mine now. That's not bad. I can live with that. Yeah, yeah, that's that'll that's plenty for now. And that's where I've been getting my slime balls from. And. No torches. Cool. All right. Got a whole s quite quite a bit of those. Um, you can melt that up. All right. Let's clean up the inventory. Silver, sapphire. Cobble. Sweet. And lipstone flux decks. Which I don't have room for. Oh well. So pretty cool. So we have a system that we can start doing some ores. We got a better way to start doing some mining. And we have a jetpack. And I feel much better about going over to the nether. So we might do that next episode. Probably next episode we'll also get the water wheel set up since I have enough creosote oil to do that. Which, that'll go there. And now I can take There we go. Now I'll take this one, put it on here. Cool deal. Alright guys, that's it for episode two. I will see you on the next one.